It was this a is hard pass, Cal. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. Okay, so. Let's do it. My favorite player in the WNBA mm-hmm. just broke the record for most consecutive double-doubles in, in WNBA history. History. I seen did it. I seen did it. <laughs> Where's Flage right now? Look, 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 look. Out there making a song with Lil Wayne and dropping an EP. I tell you. And what. you gonna tell me you know what? None of that even matters right I now. I tell you. It's what. about my girl, Angel Reese. Shout out to Angel Reese, man. She killing it, right? Yeah, yeah. They 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 showed her um Don't do it. I know what you're about to do. <laughs> what what well, I'm about to do. You you gonna talk about how she would uh um get the ball down low. Shoot it, miss it, grab the rebound. Shoot it again, miss it. I was not about to say that, but okay, I'm okay. glad you know no, that's no, what she's see, doing. No, but see, that's not the case. That is, and first of all, like, first of all, the Boston Celtics won a championship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, first of all, mm-hmm. that is difficult to shoot the ball, miss it, and still get the rebound. So even if that is the case, which isn't the case not totally, none of you under the goal, Trav. For anybody, that's difficult. Trav, no. How many? I, I, what's the? Go ahead. Go, so, because I'm about to see who had the most offensive rebounds in one possession in NBA history. So, so check it out. Um, I, I seen something on Facebook yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They said that um, Angel Reese had the the, the most consecutive double doubles, okay. and it's like what twelve or thirteen. It was uh, she. It, it was um, eleven. She tied it. Twelve. She. Broke it, I think. So, yeah. Or, so uh, was it 12 she tied it and 13? I'm going to just say 13 yeah, let's for say the video sake. Yeah. So, Angel Reese first place 13. Then they went to the NBA and they said most double-doubles in a, in consecutive games. I think it was like 255. Yeah. yeah. That's a big freaking Huge, difference. Tremendous. Tremendous. Big freaking difference. Do you bring that up because... You saying that what Angel Reese did was nothing? Is that what you saying? No, I'm not saying it's nothing. Because I'm you saying, gotta remember that it's a W in front I'm of the saying, NBA for a reason. No, I just <laughs> thought it was uh, something funny to compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's so, true. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't think that there's a real comparison, and I think that this is why the WNBA hasn't been as popular as the NBA because there haven't been players able to do certain things in the manner that is being done now. Like, Caitlin Clark's passing skills, I think she might. I don't think that there's nobody that compares, really. You know what? I'm glad we're here, right? Shout out to Angel Reese. She got the most double-doubles, and it's continuing. She's going on. I bet next game she gets a double-double. But Caitlin Clark, right? Mm -hmm. I think that she is supposed to break the record for the most uh, assists as a rookie, which I think she might have. But I think she's supposed to. to... I think she's supposed to break the most assists in WNBA history. But her teammates is trash, God bro. Dang. Bro, I think that I saw mm. I saw a whole compilation of Caitlin Clark hitting people right on the money and they fumbled the ball. And guess what? Guess what happens as a result? What happened? Caitlin Clark get the turnover for passing them the ball. So the reason that she's leading the league in turnovers yeah. is because of her teammates. Yeah. I was like, bro, yeah. they need to make a whole different rule now mm-hmm. and call it the Caitlin Clark rule yeah. because there's no reason <clears throat> that she should be getting those turnovers when her teammates literally catch the ball, fumble it, and then it go out of bounds or fumble it, and then the other person steals the ball because – Caitlin Clark passed it. They catch it right there, Chuck. Right, th- it's right. It's literally in their hands, and they, and that's just like that. It's a wrap. I, I can see how that would be a Caitlin Clark turnover. It, it should be frustrating. No, no, it would be frustrating. That, yeah, it, bro. Speaking, have mind. you ever passed somebody a perfect pass? And somehow, some way, they fumble it or or that has turn happened it over. to me, and yeah. I have what? fumbled it myself. Yeah, so. I, I was about yeah. to say because yeah. I've been in a position where I had noodle arms when I get a good pass, and I turn it over, and I'm like, "That's on me." Yeah, but that's a fact. Via the NBA rules, yeah, so on that's the on the person that passed, that passed the ball. Yeah, that's a fact. That's that, a fact. And I think that the WNBA, being that they are different from the NBA. Oh. Should implement the Caitlin Clark rule. They ain't gonna do that mess. They, they should. They, I they think. It, I think be... it would uh, make. Th- I think that would take 
their league to a whole nother level if they was to do that. So they 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 want want to be respected to the same level True. as men are. Yeah. So they not gonna take do rules something like to, that. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, it it is some bullshit. But I do see how it could be on the. I feel like if the player got if two hands touch the ball, I, I was then thinking that, but be, the, and and that's yeah. what I was saying about the it, sh, it would end up being called the Caitlin Clark rule because yeah. that's the reason that they would be changing it. It won't be because that's what the rules say. Mm-hmm. It'll be because Caitlin Clark getting too many turnovers that yeah. ain't her fault. That's because I, I I noticed that I was like I was just watching the highlights and watching the games and stuff, and they said Caitlin Clark had six turnovers, and all the turnovers was her. Doing a little no look pass and, and the person look. saying, <laughs> I, and I'd be like, Hey, I feel wide you open that. by themselves. She literally caught them in a perfect position to go up with it. Yeah, so which brings me to my next point. Yeah, go ahead. Speak Caitlin Clark is gonna have a blast at the WNBA All Star game. I was about to say WNBA, NBA All Star game, yeah. <laughs> at the WNBA All Star game. Because I, I've seen Angel Reese catch some crazy passes, some difficult passes. She do about that. To- I do think the most o- o- overlooked thing about Angel Reese is her, her um, hands. Yeah. She got her extremely ability. great yeah. hands. Yeah. Her ability. I, I've seen her get some offensive rebounds and catch some passes that I was just like, how did she catch yeah. that? Yeah. And I think that Caitlin, her and Caitlin Clark, that connection, if I was, if I was the WNBA, I would say if I was the coach of their team, I would say, listen, one, two connection all day. Come on. Everybody man. else, have a good time. God damn. <laughs> have stupid. a good time. When you get the ball, show off. That's it. But I want this to be the connection all day. Yeah. And I think that um Angel Reese so far in the WNBA has hasn't played with anybody that has really good hands enough to catch and go up. I somebody threw a, I think it might have been the same chick that bumped uh Caitlin Clark mm-hmm. at the uh, when they played the sky, but yeah. the chick threw the ball full court. Angel Reese said, "Uh, uh, you." Yeah. I was like, "How? Not only how did she finish that, but how did she even uh, catch that?" Yeah. And it was two players. Like one was in front of her, one was behind her, and she just yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. I think uh, at uh, the WNBA uh, All Star game, Caitlin Clark, if she really put forth the effort, mm-hmm. she could have about twenty assists. You think so? If about she, twenty. If she put forth the effort. I mean, she could just go out there to have fun and then not worry yeah. about it. But if she actually put forth the effort with teammates that know how to catch and finish, mm-hmm. she, she could have a really good game. I've I seen I'm some, some somebody say this was probably two or three ye- years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know who it was, but it, it, it was... What was I think it was... I think it might have been Steven Jackson or Matt Barnes. I ain't sure. Yeah. But they said the that... Smoke. I would say shout yeah. out, but I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure if it was them. I think it was. But one of them said that um, in a couple years, the, the WNBA going to have some real great players because the girls now training with the same trainer is the, the, the guys. The so oh, now okay. everybody got, you know, the girls learning the same moves. That is the guys, gotcha. they're going through the same stuff. So yeah. that might be why. Because this, in my eyes, this uh, last draft, I think that was the best ever. Mm, and then agreed. next draft, that might be better than this draft. You mm, get what I'm saying? So I think it's coming. Which pays back on them, right? Yes, all. Pays back us. Hopefully, uh, Juju uh, uh, go out. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so whoever said that, they predicted was Going coming on now. Right now. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like you said something similar to that to me before, where you was talking about how good – the college girls was, and when they get to the WNBA, mm-hmm. they were going. Yeah, it was going to change the game. Yeah, it I feel like is. you said something like that to me before. Maybe I said it. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I said. Hey, it. I'm trying to give you some credit but, yeah. because you did uh, tell me and Richard about mm-hmm. the WNBA, yeah. and, and how... we should go see a game. Go ahead, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, and yeah. And and now look at us. Both of us be watching. Uh, Richard be uh, you don't be in a group chat as much as me and Richard. By the way, you should uh, improve on that. But, Got dog. But anyway, Richard be Boy. talking about the uh, like he a lot of times when Caitlin Clark games come on TV, he mm-hmm. sit down and watches, especially when they play in the sky. I think he watched the last two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. He don't like injuries, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. He a Caitlin Clark fan. Yeah, that's yes. why. God dang. 
I like them both. He playing either. right into the stereotype. Right? I know. And but, I am too, by the yeah. way. So. No, I like both of them. If I had Yeah, I do like both though, of them, though, yeah. If I had to choose. Well, I mean, last game, I wanted Caitlin Clark to win, and they did. The game prior, I wanted Angel Reese to win, and they did. But, but yeah, it's – um. I, I I do think it's good for the W that Angel Reese got the uh, double double record and Caitlin Clark got the first triple double yep. by a rookie. Yeah, and and what have you been hearing more of? Because ever since uh, I've been hearing more about Angel Reese, to be honest. No, no, you've been hearing more about Angel Reese, but once Caitlin Clark got that triple double, which, which one have you heard more of? Because for me. Once uh, Caitlin Clark got that triple double, my whole timeline, shoom. That's it. Angel Reese ain't, I mean, god dang it. Uh, Caitlin Clark, Clay, Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark, triple double, triple double. Bro, so y'all just gonna act like Angel Reese ain't out here doing what she was doing. Caitlin Clark, for the, the face of it, weeks. man. Yeah, I know. She the I face know. of it. Because if LeBron get a quadruple double, but uh, somebody breaks the all time triple double record, they gonna be like, well, LeBron just got yeah, a quadruple double. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Shout out to them, though. I can understand it. Shout out to them. I ain't hating, though, because I like Caitlin Clark, and I'm rooting for her to be great. Yeah. Can I say something? Right I remember now? I had messaged a girl one time. I said, I hope you be well at life. Dang. <laughs> I was like, hey, you stupid. I, I was drunk when I sent this. So when I read it back, I was like, wait, hey, what? You stupid. Well, go ahead. I yeah. done told people that. I think at the uh, WNBA All Star game at halftime, mm-hmm. the performance should be Angel Reese mm-hmm. and Caitlin Clark. On they the stage with Susie Oh. You would watch that? Absolutely. I would love it. I wouldn't love it, but I'd watch it. You'd watch it? Yeah. Shout out to the W, though, man. What a time for them. They going to mess it up, but hey, they they doing good My data got leaked, Chuck. Uh Uh-oh. People Mm. messaging me saying, uh, you got a UPS package at the office. Oh, yeah. I be getting that mess, too. Yeah, that means your data got leaked. Mine get leaked a lot there. Yeah. Well, it you know what it comes from, right? It, well, for me, I know it comes from me researching certain stuff and clicking on websites that I shouldn't, that tells me I shouldn't click yeah. on it. It'd be like, hey, this website is yeah. risky. Yeah, you I show you on the... <laughs> it's like, hey, man, if the video there, I want to watch it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. I deal with that stuff later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Thanks. But yeah, yeah, hey, drop yeah. down in the comments, man. Let us know if y'all think that uh, Caitlin Clark's triple double is better than injuries breaking the WNBA double double history joint. Oh shoot! Whatever. You got a comment on the video about Riley Reed? Uh oh. What they say? Riley Reed being the first is crazy. The first what? The first one to get the N word pass. Oh. I don't even know who that is. It was it's somebody I never seen before. Yeah. Hey, shout out to you, bro. There Should you I read go. His name? Read his name. Give him a shout out. <laughs> Give him shout, a shout out, out to Never for Land. Oh wait, Never Land. God, don't it's N E V four. Well, N. Listen, listen, Chuck. Chuck, stop laughing and listen, okay? God, dog. It's N three V four Land. Mm-hmm. Is that Neverland? Let me see it. Let me see it. Where you at? Second comment. Neverland, yeah. Yeah, but it's N three V four. Yeah. And I was like, is it Nev three? Neverland. That's what it is. Nev four? Neverland. Hey, shout out to you, bro. That's it. Hey, shout out to Tri Media also. They always come through. Yeah, so uh but yeah, drop down in the comments, let us know what y'all think about the WNBA season so far. What yeah. are y'all thinking about uh Caitlin Clark teaming up with Angel Reese on the same team of um the All-Star Game, yeah, and yeah. what do y'all think is going to happen? Put your predictions down there, and yeah. You got anything else before we go? I hope they just get along. Caitlin Clark and injuries? They will in the All-Star Game, I think so. They had dap each other up last game. Richard pointed that out, too, in they the group chat that you don't ever check. I, I checked the group chat that, that day. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, laying down last night trying to uh, go to sleep. This was like oh, so 12 o'clock. <laughs> nah, so it was 12 o'clock. I heard, doom. <laughs> my third second leader, doom. Mm. My third second leader, doom. And I look, and it was uh, written. No, I think you sent the first one, and then Richard sent two. And I was like, I wonder if this how Trav feel with me and Richard be. Yeah, it, it is. It is. God, dog. No. <laughs> but the thing is, though, it's like when I have the – because sometimes I have the phone, phone on the floor. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have it on the bed. When I have it on the bed and it do that, I put it on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. I think you should turn your sound off, put it on vibrate, and put it on the floor. Yeah, I feel Because if it vibrates too many times on the floor, at some point you're going to hear it. 
Mm. But none of that matters. All right. Bye. All right.